Nashville police in the U.S. released CCTV footage of the moments leading up to and during a mass shooting at a private Christian elementary school on Monday. Three children and three adults were killed during the bloody incident by a 28-year-old shooter who was shot dead by the police. The shooter, identified as Audrey Elizabeth Hale, drove a Honda Fit on Monday, parked it outside the school and shot his way into the building, a private Christian school for students in preschool to sixth grade. Police Chief John Drake told reporters that Audrey Elizabeth Hale identified as transgender but provided no further clarity. Hale used male pronouns on a LinkedIn page that listed recent jobs in graphic design and grocery delivery. The shooter was armed with two assault-type guns and a 9mm pistol. No, we have a manifesto, we have some writings that we're going over uh, that uh, pertain to this day, the actual incident. We have a map drawn out of how this was all going to take place. Uh, there's right now a theory of that's, that we may be able to talk about later, but it's not confirmed. I, we can give you that at a later time. There is uh, some theory to that. We're investigating all the leads, and once we know exactly, we'll let you know. The massacre at the Covenant School in Nashville was the latest in a series of school shootings. The adult victims were staffers of the school, including Cynthia Peak, 61, Catherine Koontz, 60, and Mike Hill, 61, and the minor victims were nine-year-old students. The school has about 200 students, and teaches pupils from three years old up to around 12. Television images showed children holding hands as they left the school. One photograph showed a child sobbing through the window of her yellow school bus as it pulled away from the crime scene. President Joe Biden described the latest shooting as sick and said gun violence was ripping the soul of this nation as he urged Congress to pass a ban on the assault weapons often used in mass shootings. It's sick. You know, we're still gathering the facts of what happened and why. And we do know that as of now, there are a number of people who are not going to did not make it including children. It's heartbreaking, uh, a family's worst nightmare. And I want to commend the police who responded incredibly swiftly, within minutes, to end the danger. We're monitoring the situation really closely, Ben, as you know. And uh, we have to do more to stop gun violence. It's ripping our communities apart, ripping the soul of this nation, ripping at the very soul of the nation. And we, we have to do more to protect our schools so they aren't turned into prisons. You know, uh, the shooter in this situation reportedly had two assault weapons and a pistol, two AK-47. So I call on Congress again to pass my assault weapons ban. It's about time that we begin to make some more progress. There have been 129 mass shootings, defined as incidents in which four or more people were shot or killed, so far this year, according to data from the Gun Violence Archive. Biden's calls for Congress to reinstate the national ban on assault rifles, which existed from 1994 to 2004, has run up against opposition from Republicans, who are staunch defenders of the constitutional right to bear arms and have had a narrow majority in the House of Representatives since January. The deadlock in Washington has come despite the public uproar over high-profile massacres such as the one at Sandy Hook Elementary School in Connecticut in 2012, when 26 people, including 20 children, were killed. Do tell us what you think about this video in comments section, and for more news updates, subscribe to India Today.